So in a in a more recent video, I uh, uh, discussed my plans of uh, my exit plans to get out of uh, Northern Michigan and in this crazy weather. Um, it's going to be a, lo a, a long, slow process, uh, but I just thought I'd uh, give you an idea of what I'm trying to get away from, aside from the Michigan weather. Uh, i got to make my bed. They say that uh, if you make your bed every morning, um, you're typically a more successful person because you you get things accomplished. So there's there's my bed. So I got that accomplished. So uh, let's uh, get a little history of Mitch. I uh, am the DJ. I, I say am, but I do maybe two gigs a year now since COVID. Um, this is my big chest of drawers, and in it, I've got, you know, what you have in your drawers. <laughs> um, looking outside, just a reminder of, uh, what it is I would like to eventually get away from. So that's a picture of my daughter when she was little. She's all grown up with two kids of her own. There's a fo uh, painting, not a photo, but a painting of our house in Lewiston, Michigan that my mom painted. It almost looks like a photo, doesn't it? But that's a painting. So, that's <clears throat> my boring bedroom. Oh, uh, speaking of DJing, that's pretty much all of my DJ equipment right there. It uh, unfolds very well. Okay. Now we got all the my dress shirts over there. My warmer winter shirts there. Various shoes and stuff. It's typical. It's a typical collection of clothing for a single man in his 60s who's for all intents and purposes retired. Here's my bathroom. You can hear my fan. Want to hear? Want to hear some? Hey, I know that guy. Here's something. We we love it. It's actually a toilet that flushes. A real toilet. Do they have those in campers? So, <coughs> excuse me. That's my uh. My jean jacket. <clears throat> Look at that. That's the collar. I've had this jean jacket for a long time. I just can't get rid of it. So yeah, in my closet, there's that jacket I wore in that most recent video. My winter jacket. I've got a nice little windbreaker. My Cabela's coat. I've got my kayaking rain gear here, my jacket and my pants, and some some vintage coat wear. <clears throat> gloves. A box of gloves. Vacuum cleaners. Boots. How much of this stuff do you think I'm going to need <clears throat> if I uh, live in a a van down by the river. Uh, <laughs> I love music. I used to be able to play. I injured my left arm pretty severely. And now I, I can no longer wrap my meat hooks around the fretboard like one should be able to. So now my uh, instruments are art. I found an old television console and I decided to, to take the TV out of it and put my stereo system in it. Cool, man. 
So there's my big TV. That's, uh, oh, I think a 65 inch. It's got the uh, surround sound speakers. And believe it or not, maybe you're not going to believe this, but you see that? <laughs> Those are old Radio Shack speakers. <clears throat> Here's another guitar. That there's an air guitar. Uh, okay. My my big guitar amp, subwoofer, and over here on the wall next to the guitar, there's another speaker. And we'll swing way over here. There's another speaker. Now, these are photographs my sister took when she was alive. That's some sort of laser photography or something, something weird that changes the colors. Uh, sorry about the reflection. That's just cool. There's a there's another painting of my mom's. Swing down here. I love candles. There's my daughter down there. There's my sister down there. She has been dead longer than she was alive. And here's the about the only instrument I can play. All right. <clears throat> Big chair, big rocker, tables, lamps, computers, all kinds of stuff. Stuff that uh if I take out a nomadic lifestyle I won't have any use for. So what do I do? Do I just get rid of it? Apples, tomatoes, <laughs> old people meds, fiber, got to take your fiber. I've learned that cooking in a, or baking even, in a, a toaster oven is, is much better than, easier than a stove, a full-blown stove. I love my two-buck chuck, my cheap wine. And if you're wondering, those are baggies. I don't think I've ever bought a Ziploc bag. I just rinse them and reuse them. Oh, I've heard the stories of how terrible that is. But uh, I'll be 62 in a couple weeks, so I don't know how terrible it actually is. I got my mini coffee pot. I used to have a big one, just don't drink that much. Got to have my uh, <clears throat> hazelnut coffee creamer. My knives, I like to cook. Did I mention that? Up here on top of the uh, cupboards, I have a selection of uh, really expensive 1810, it's called, uh, stainless steel, induction ready. A very cool gas stove with my friend Chris. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I have a microwave. I know, I know. Some people say that the microwaves are evil and they have spirits that will infiltrate your body. Here's my my mantra on my calendar. So whenever I look at my calendar, which is usually every day, live to be happy, love thyself. What else can you do, for goodness sakes? Alright, anything you don't see in styrofoam and clear plastic is meat I killed. Some perch, and let's close that. Uh, I may have mentioned at some point that I love to cook. Now, keeping in mind, the reason I'm doing this video is to demonstrate how much crap I have, and then I'm going to have to try to figure out how much I can do without. How I can downsize all this stuff. Box wine? You betcha. Some real special rum from a friend of mine for Christmas. Oh, uh, yeah. Bourbon. Coffee liqueur. Contro. Good stuff. My little wine glass rack. Look at there. And then way over here, my wireless printer. And there's two laptops. Check that out. Now, you might be uh, wondering how I came to this mindset. Well, down here on this screen, I was just watching this a little bit ago. 
That's, uh, I'd like to say, my friend Marty Zoffinger. But Marty's a guy who has a YouTube channel. We've chatted a couple times via uh, text on Messenger. But, I mean, I don't know him. I'd love to get to know him. Nice guy. Uh, all right, over here, my wireless speaker that I'm thinking, my Bluetooth speaker, that I, it just may replace all of that someday. That. Yeah. There's uh, my cigar box. If I'm going to drink bourbon, I might as well huh, smoke a cigar while I'm at it. I might have a bit of a drinking problem. A bucket full of corks. All right. <clears throat> I wish I could say that uh, I showed you everything, but I didn't. And by the way, I love cast iron. Don't know how that's going to work on a uh, in a trailer, in a mobile home, in a camper. I should say camper. And my washer and dryer, all my laundry. Look at all that stuff up there. Various chemicals and things. All right. Oh, here we go into a new realm. Let me back up, just kind of get, get the idea of what's going on here. This is the hallway going back into what they would call the master bedroom if you uh, bought one of these. Now I turned mine into a studio guest room office. I've got some vintage JBL speakers here that just rock the house. <laughs> Not a good picture there. I don't know if turning a light on will help, but let's try. Not much. So I got my big boom mic. Hey, look, another TV. Great. My mixer. From my old DJ days, I've significantly downsized. Heck, I even used to use the uh, Techniques uh, 1200 turntable. When I used to DJ. I don't now. Alright. Hi. Uh, oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, wait. Let's swing around. I might have a record collection. A few records. And a few CDs. Now, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Just stuff. Wait. Another? What? VHS tapes and books. Who's that dude? That's Frank Zappa. My brother Rick got me that for Christmas. <laughs> That's fun. And my little my Kiss uh, tribute shelf here. Lots of Kiss stuff. There's the, uh, I don't know if you ever watched it, but there was a show called... Um, Gene Simmons Family Jewels. It was a you know, one of those reality shows. So that's all of their shows and some of their concerts. Yay. But wait, there's more. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Well, this is my closet that's in the uh, master bedroom. Odds and ends, wires and stuff. Oh my god, this video just goes on and on and on. How boring can it be? That's the original box from my um, TV in the living room. I have a box full of spare meds. Spare meds. Some uh, storage containers, coolers. <clears throat> Tons and tons of stuff. And I'm, I'll bet you I can do with about 10% of this stuff. <laughs> There's the original TV box from my office TV. Ammo box. Toolbox for electronics. Just too much stuff. But how do you live without this? Mom painted that for me. How am I going to live without that? My next door neighbor, Carol, painted that for me. 
How am I going to live with that? Uh, without that. My dad. This is my dad. A picture of my dad. Now mind you, that's a wig. Truth be told. Now I used to have as many cassette tapes as CDs. I threw uh, about 90% of them away and kept all of the special stuff. There's me in my glory days. And no, that's not a wig. Just stuff, knickknacks, friends give me. A spare mixer. Just too much stuff. Oh. All right, now, now I'm in the, the bathroom, the master bath. My fan likes to growl. Uh, towels. Might have a little bit of toilet paper. Yeah, maybe a little more toilet paper. It's me again. Uh, so this is how I procure my my venison. That thing is a beast. It's a relentless tool. Now, <clears throat> paints, lubes, tape, nuts and bolts. I might have a little more toilet paper. More paint. Various things. <sighs> Did I mention anything about toilet paper? I've got herbs spices. I've got dehydrators and hummingbird feeders and grinders and jars and more food. I bet you thought there was going to be more toilet paper in there. <laughs> no. There's all my taxes because you got to stay on top of that. And then up here on this top shelf more things Surely, I do not need. It's a dulcimer. If you're wondering, it's a dulcimer. Um, then there's the rocking horse that my dad made for my daughter. And then, this was a find. Holy moly. This is a Sony AM-FM tabletop radio. Uh, very vintage, working. And it was five bucks and I couldn't turn it down. So, there you go. Um, I'm going to turn off the lights. You know, before I do that though, that's another set of speakers that I'm not using. What the heck am I going to do with this? Now that's a battery for my kayak. My treadmill! I was way out of shape even though round is a shape. I um, used this machine to, to uh, get a lot more healthy and, and a little more physically, um, you know, able to move. So it worked. It helped. But I think that if I just stay active in my daily life, I don't have to do this. Keeping that in mind, staying healthy and active in my daily life is nearly impossible when you have all that snow on the ground. So I'm sorry this is a long, drawn-out video, but it's a record of, of uh, a lot of the stuff I have. And what am I going to do when I decide I want to leave? No, that's not my kayak. A friend of mine wants to go kayaking. She wants to go with me, hang out. That pile of stuff there behind the car, that's all my camping gear. I've got a refrigerator over here. As if the one in the house wasn't enough, I've got this one. Full of venison. All right, well, that's not full, but it's got a lot of venison in it. Speakers, because I love speakers. Oh wait, 
uh, speakers because I love speakers something seriously wrong with me and wait another TV on the front porch and more furniture what am I gonna do my deck I can use it about six months out of the year I actually shoveled it yesterday so this is becoming a daily chore let's go outside my car I, I don't ever want to see this on my car I don't ever want to see one of these again after I leave if I leave how am I gonna leave all right I do have a little friend who's been visiting a kitty cat kitty cat loves to get into my garbage over there in my green tote there's my neighbor Paul he's living it up as you can see mountains of snow taller than the cars this is great this is wonderful so how am I going to get out of this predicament? Like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do, but help me out here. Give me a suggestion. Tell me where to go. <laughs> like you'll be the first one.